Have you ever been handed a gift card that you are certain you would never use? Or do you have a gift card that you intended to spend but forgot to bring with you? Fortunately, there are a slew of legitimate businesses where you can cash in your gift cards and put that money to good use. The simplest approach is to sell gift cards online, but you should expect to pay a commission of up to 15% of the selling price. Before we proceed, I would appreciate if you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and ring the notification bell so you won't miss out any of my future videos. 1. Card Cash Gift Cash is a no-frills marketplace for buying and selling gift cards that was founded in 2009. It accepts gift cards from popular department shops, restaurants, groceries, and other locations. While the website claims that you can earn up to 92% of the value of a gift card, each card is assigned its own quotation, which could be lower. If your card is accepted, Card Cash will pay you straight. To find out how much cash your gift card is worth and whether you need to physically mail it in, use Card Cash's quote service. You can also exchange the gift card for one from a different store, thereby increasing the value of your current gift card. Card Cash allows you to sell or exchange your cards. You can get up to 14% extra for your card by trading it. When you choose to sell rather than trade, you will get payment via PayPal, direct transfer, or check within 48 hours. 2. Gift Card Granny Gift Card Granny may be the simplest location to sell because it allows you to compare selling prices across multiple marketplaces with one inquiry. You can get up to 92% of the value of high-demand gift cards back. You have three selling choices when selling on Gift Card Granny. Sell it now, name your price, trade in. If you need money right now, choose the Sell It Now option to receive payment via PayPal, direct deposit, or check within three business days. If you have more time to sell, the other two choices, name your price and trade in, might help you earn more money by paying you in cash or exchanging your card for a more desirable brand. Popular brands on Gift Card Granny, Apple, Target, Starbucks, GameStop, Best Buy, Home Depot, Nordstrom. If you have one of these gift cards to sell, it should sell right away. 3. Raise Raise was founded in 2013 as a mobile payment app and e-commerce platform. Raise's marketplace, among other things, allows you to sell your unwanted gift cards. That implies you'll need to set up a Raise account and a gift card listing. The more demand there is for a thing, the more you may ask for it. Gift cards from large shops such as Walmart, Target, and Best Buy typically sell for around 95% of their face value on the marketplace. You also have complete control over your ad. If your card does not sell within the first few days, you can always lower the price to appeal to more consumers. You can also remove it from the list if you change your mind. Raise charges a 15% seller fee when the item sells, plus an extra $2.75 or 1% fee for actual cards, whichever is greater. If you've lost track, it means you can only earn 85% of the value of a digital gift card. 4. Clipcard Clipcard, according to its website, accepts actual gift cards from over 100 different shops. Particularly popular are fast food restaurants and department stores. Clipcard will buy almost any gift card available. All you have to do now is enter some card information. They'll make you an offer depending on the retail value and brand of the item. You can send your cards using one of two options. Clipcard will cover the cost of delivery if you choose USPS First Class. Finally, it's up to you to send the cards out. Payment can be sent immediately to a PayPal account the next day or via mail with a check. It is entirely up to you how you will be compensated. You can not only earn money with gift cards, but you can also earn clip card rewards. You can use 1,000 points to get $10 off your next purchase on the site. 5. GameFlip GameFlip is a one-of-a-kind solution to get rid of and used gift cards. For gamers, the e-commerce site is a hybrid of eBay and Upwork. You'll need to create a listing to sell gift cards, just like any other commodity or service on the site, which requires you to first create a GameFlip profile. Any unused prepaid or non-reloadable gift card can be sold. Amazon, App Store, Google Play, PSN, and Xbox Live are all popular gift cards. You have complete control over the price on GameFlip, while it's recommended that you post your card at a discount of 2% to 15% of its value. When someone purchases your gift card, GameFlip deposits the funds in your GameFlip wallet, which you can then withdraw using Wise, 
Payoneer, Skrill, or Bitcoin. PayPal isn't accepted any longer. All listings on Gameflip are subject to an 8% cut, with digital-only listings being subject to an additional 2% cut. There are fees associated with each wallet withdrawal method. 6. Gift Cash Gift Cash is an easy method to sell digital and physical gift cards from over 150 different brands. The cards that are accepted are clearly displayed on the website. For in-demand brands, you might earn up to 92% of the value. You may get a quote on your gift card before you decide to sell it, just like on other gift card exchange services. Gift Cash, on the other hand, does not allow gift card exchanging. All gift cards must have a minimum value of $25. Some brands, such as Air Canada, Apple, iTunes, and Petco, have a greater minimum value requirement, such as $100. 7. GC Spread With one key exception, GC Spread functions similarly to Clipcard. You get to choose the gift card's selling price. That's right, you get to choose the value of your gift card. Send the the information to GC Spread, and they'll either accept or counter the offer. You have 24 hours from the time the agreement is made to upload an ID and credit card details in order to receive payment. Your gift card will be traded to someone who wants it, and you will profit. 8. eBay Another alternative is to sell your gift cards on eBay, where you can potentially make a profit, but this can be more time-consuming. They verify the amount and provide seller protection in the event the buyer has difficulties redeeming the card by selling through a gift card marketplace. Follow these guidelines to avoid being scammed on eBay, never listed the card number or PIN in the listing, buy your postage through PayPal so eBay can track the shipping details, don't email the card number and PIN even after the buyer pays for it make them wait to receive the actual card. The majority of customers are trustworthy, but a few rotten apples tarnish the entire industry. The buyer pays for the card and receives the card number and PIN in an email, which is a frequent eBay fraud. The customer immediately uses the card to make a transaction and then files a complaint with eBay, alleging that the seller supplied a defective card. Sellers who fail to follow the three safety measures above will end up refunding the buyer and losing the gift card. 9. Craigslist You may also sell your card locally by posting it on Craigslist or using a local selling app like OfferUp. This may be the best choice for gift cards to local establishments that aren't featured on the other gift card balances. It's advisable to meet at a nearby establishment to verify the amount before the customer pays for the card when selling locally. 10. Reddit You may also sell unwanted gift cards on a few non-specialist websites. Reddit, for example, features are slash Reddit Bay and are slash gift card exchange, which allow you to bypass the middleman and sell your cards to other users directly. Obviously, Reddit does not provide the same level of buyer protection as dedicated gift card services, so be sure you can trust the buyer before posting anything. If you use the 10 sites we've mentioned, you'll have cash or a new gift card in your hands in a matter of days. Remember that you may always donate your gift card to a charity they may be able to utilize it to purchase products that their clients require. As always thank you for watching, see you in my next video.